My real name is Jonas. Jonas? Yes. Okay, a poem is uh, last name? The, the, the DJ name. Oh, okay. Just the DJ ah. nickname, yeah, completely. Jonas. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, Ребят, у нас в гостях сегодня э, супер-мега-диджей, любитель Тарашо, поэма «Битс» Джонас. Yes. Thank you. Окей. Okay. Как дела? How are you? How are you? Good. I'm good. Yeah. And how are you? О, мы вообще круто. Прям. Супер, да? Да. Yeah. Так, э, поэма. Расскажи, пожалуйста, о себе. Э, представь вот, людям, они только слушали тебя, ну, как... Uh, Лично с тобой не знаком, да. Расскажи о себе. Few things about me. I'm born in Congo, like many people in Kizomba scene. They are from Congo, and uh, and then um, I'm based in Sweden, uh, in Europe. Uh, so that's where I do my production, do my mixing. So it all starts from there. Круто. Мы вот слышали все твои треки. И uh, они uh, в основном акцентируешь на Тарашо. Вот ты любишь Тарашо, да? I love Тарашо. And then um, it has another kind of energy mm -hmm. uh, compared to Ghetto Zook, Urban, mm -hmm. or Compass, Simba, whatever you want to call it. So uh, Tarasho energy fits my energy. It's, mm -hmm. it's like, it's match. It's a match. Mm -hmm. Poema beats Tarasho match, right? Mm -hmm. Rico. А расскажи, как ты вообще попал в Швейцарию, в Швецию, да? А, ну, ты жил в Конго, и что произошло потом? Вот расскажи о своем детстве. We moved uh, from Sweden to uh, from Congo to Sweden. Oh. Yeah, to yeah, Sweden yeah, to yes. Congo. <laughs> we did the opposite. No, we moved uh, from Congo to Sweden mm -hmm. uh, with family, so that that's why I'm. Uh, uh, tell me I'm more about there. your childhood. Oh, well, I I am a normal guy. I went to school. Uh, and then uh, I played with uh, friends uh, mm -hmm. and then I uh, also did a lot of uh, kind of, I do say, music. You know, when I was a child, I was um, in that time, we had like, you know, cassette band? You know the cassette? Yes, yes, yes. yes, 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 yes. Uh, I was uh, kind of pretending to mix with cassette band when I was a oh. kid, like 10, 11 years. And then I was like putting one song mm -hmm. and then after that saying a lot of things and then putting another song like they do in radio. So wow. I was doing my own radio. And later I understand that that was something um, that I, I brought with me the whole childhood. So mm -hmm. mixing, producing music, I had it since uh, I was a kid, I would say. But I didn't know about it. Как ты вообще познакомился с Kizomba? Yeah, I, um, when I st started to study in university, I try to find something that mm -hmm. can make you think about something mm -hmm. else and just your studying. Mm -hmm. So I tried mm -hmm. a lot of sports, I tried a lot of activity and then it didn't work. So mm -hmm. when I was there, I was still thinking about school, thinking about exams. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then um, I just Google. I said, maybe I can try dance. And then I tried uh, salsa. Mm -hmm. And then I started to dance with salsa. Though. And when I did, every time I was thinking about studying, I was doing mistake. So and then I understand, oh, this is the right hobby for me. So dancing mm -hmm. is good because anytime you think about something else, you do a mistake. So it helps me to not think about studying. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when I start with salsa and then again bachata and then at the end, like we all know, <laughs> you yes. will meet Kizumba, uh -huh. right? Получается, ты прошел весь путь, да, от сальса до Кизумба. Yes, and then you 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 stay there, right? It it looks like that for many people. So. И как так? А ты диджей по сальсе и бачате или только Кизумба? Как так вообще получилось? No, I, I did it uh, very little. I will not say I was doing DJ. It was just kind of, we didn't have so many good DJs. And then I tried to mix it home, like salsa, bachata. And then I realized very quick, there was not so much mixing skills in salsa and bachata. You just put, just like in radio, you just put one song and then you wait and you put another song. So you are not mixing. So you are not <laughs> doing anything. You are just playing the pushing play uh, yeah, buttons. Yeah. So I stopped it. It was not. It was not fun. 
прикольно. А, вот у нас в гостях был Руэлла, и он рассказывал, что начинал там диджей. Ну, вот его первая история была просто лет. диджеем, да. А какая была твоя вот первая история встречи с диджеингом? My background as a DJ, I danced a lot, and then I danced a lot salsa, a lot bachata, and then a lot kiss samba or bang kiss, and then tarasho, and then I was at the end. I was also doing taxi, so you go to many festival, you dance with many people, and in one point I felt like I'm tired. It's not funny anymore. It's not getting exciting. I, I feel like I'm doing the same thing. So I start losing my energy, my motivation. So I'm like, I need to do the next step. And for many people, the next step is like teaching. Mm -hmm. I try to teach. Mm -hmm. I teach like urban kids, bachata in Sweden, where I'm based. It works, but it's very hard to get like students. It's very hard to mm -hmm. feel motivation. People are coming, they're giving you energy so you can keep on going. Mm -hmm. So I felt like no, I want the next step, mm -hmm. and then the next <laughs> and the next step it was like music, right? And mm -hmm. then I come back to my my background. I'm like no, music is the best thing, and then mm -hmm. I start DJing. So oh. it's like five years, and, five years. and then uh, and then I'm like okay, mm -hmm. I think this is this is the new motivation. <laughs> so now I'm, I'm stuck up. in I'm stuck in there. Ну, я тоже сейчас вот преподаю, преподаю, и тут уже диджей, надо туда уходить, next level, next level. Uh, so, yeah. after DJing, you do music, and then after that, I, I don't know, I ask myself, maybe I can start singing, but I'm, I'm not good. <laughs> I tried once, and then I had bad dreams uh -huh. about it, I'm like, no, I'm not going to try to uh, record it. Uh, what kind of DJ is now playing a beat? Well, that's a good question. Um, for me, I listen to all production that comes out. That is about Kizumba, mm -hmm. uh, even Afro and other style, but mainly Kizumba, because mm -hmm. I want to hear what is coming out, what mm. is changing, what is not changing, which kind of style is like growing up. So it's more like active listening to learn. Mm -hmm. Not like active listening because of the favorite DJ. Because mm -hmm. any DJ that I know when they release a song, I want to hear how, how did they do that. Okay, okay, okay. So it's about learning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So and I also get an inspiration from everyone. Mm -hmm. You see. So and then from there you can create something. So it's it's very good to to always like listen to what is coming out, what is coming out. Mm -hmm. So you you are you are on the track, I will say. Не, а какие Может, именно диджеи? Что такие будут имя, да, имена диджеев, хотя бы три. We want name. Are you, are you want name? Uh, the first DJ, the second poema, and the third beats. Third poema. Where you want name? I will, I will say like this. Uh, the most paid person that I listen a lot to to mm -hmm. get inspiration, it's it's nice life, because uh, you know. Like for many years ago, Nice Live mm -hmm. were doing a lot of like hard music, a lot mm -hmm. of like Tara show, hard urban keys. So I can like go back Nice Live five years ago. I listen, oh, this that was like the production for five years ago, and now this is the production because Nice Live is very active, right? Mm -hmm. He produced, he released, he produced, he released. So you get a lot of inspiration from him compared to many other DJs and mm. producers, they do not so they don't produce so much mm -hmm. as nice life. Uh, so he's the first one. And then the second one is Black Sky. I also listen a lot to Black Sky. Mm -hmm. uh, so to, to get inspiration because he has been here for long time, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe eight years, ten years, I don't know. I don't have the facts, but I listen a lot to him as well. And then I also listen a lot to other DJs, like you know the father of Tara mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Do you know That's the guy. name? No, Bebedera. Mostly Tarasho and Tarasho producers so to get inspiration, mm. to try to bring something new. Mm -hmm. Right? So I will say Nice Live, Black Sky, mm -hmm. I take many of my inspiration from there. And then also just music from Portugal, from Angola, they also mm -hmm. produce a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't have names, but they also produce a lot. Mm. So okay. keep listening. Обычно мы задаем, типа, как тебе Казахстан? А тут тебя не было. А ты был в Казахстане и вообще как планируешь к нам? No, I haven't been. 
haven't. Not yet, I will say. Right? Uh, do you want? I would like. Yes. Uh, did you like. uh, had something about Kazakhstan? I have uh, met like a dancer from there, but mm -hmm. uh, I don't have like uh, any uh, reference to things or the dance community. Mm -hmm. How big bachata, kizomba, or salsa are there? Mm -hmm. So no, no, no knowledge at all. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you guys should bring me so I have to learn something about your your dancing. And I don't know even the DJ from Kazakhstan. Not mm. yet. But mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's Kazakhstan's the best DJ. So DJ Asso. Yeah. Uh, and then the DJ. <laughs> <laughs> it's with you. Ah, oh, <laughs> normally, right answer. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm joking. Right. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right answer. <laughs> yes, right. Organizer. The only one. The playboy. <laughs> <laughs> Этот твой первый визит в Москву вообще как тебе москвичи? Ah, very friendly and then very good dancing, good DJ. So I have a lot of good things to say about Russian kizomba scene and Russian people. So lovely. Но это ты в Казахстане еще не был. So when when I visit Kazakhstan, I will be you surprised. Yeah. So it's better yeah, than yeah, what yeah, I'm seeing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I uh, I look. What was I'm the best forward. experience in your life? Right? Oh my lord! So the best thing yet to come. Ну ты видел батл диджеев? Как тебе впечатление вообще вот именно? It's a good thing. I will check it with me when I go back to Scandinavia and then try to do the same thing with my DJ friends there. Not to compete, but to learn something about it. You know. The stress you get, the mm -hmm. adrenaline, you have to do things fast, it helps. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, when you have never been in um, uh, one country and uh, you have maybe 500 or 400 people to play, mm -hmm. you, you also get nervous, mm -hmm. especially when you haven't been there before, you also get <laughs> nervous. And then you have to handle this nervousness, this stress. Mm -hmm. So I think this kind of battle is a good, it's a good mm -hmm. training. У нас в Казахстане скоро будет диджейский батл впервые. Вообще, вот как ты думаешь, по-твоему, как нужно проводить батл, какие правила нужны, чтобы определить самого лучшего диджея? I like what they did here to play as much song as you can in like decide time, right? And then after that you you will pass and then you will play like as many songs as you want, but now it's about the technique, mm -hmm. the transition, mm -hmm. and then how you build the energy. So it's a, it's a good way. Mm -hmm. And then also what I would like to add is like when is a bit tight, when is a bit like really not like uh, far away, the skills or the, the decision is like almost the same, mm -hmm. then the DJ should have the second chance to do mm -hmm. again. You do the mix again, so you you will hear again and then try to decide again because it's very hard as a as a jury to decide, and sometimes it's good to to hear again, and even sometimes it's good for them to do again because they are they have skills, they are good DJs, but sometimes you just don't get it, right? To do a lot of stress, you don't get it, and you're also not happy with you because you know you know better, right? So. А расскажи вот помимо Тарашо, вот Кизомба музыки, что ты еще любишь, что слушаешь, твои любимые артисты? I like Afrobeat a lot. It is very popular Afrobeat, and we play it as Kizomba part as well. And then also Ama Piano, Ama Piano. I'm not a Ama Piano producer, but I'm trying to do something that I will call Ama Poema. So we will see how it will go. But my piano is is powerful beat, powerful percussion, and then it's getting very popular now. And then you have heard people are trying to to add it in urban keys on in Tarasho in Ghetto Zoom, and then it works. So. Надо его больше смешить, у него смех прикольный. А мапуэма, it's coming. А ты не думал вот этот смех добавить во время диджейства типа там? I can, I can make it as a simple, as a sampler to to put on DJ. Right, yeah. Poema beat.
Right? Окей. А как появился вот твой джингл? It's your voice? Ah, yes, it's my voice. Yeah, I went to studio and then I record with my beats. And so that's that's my own voice. And um, and before before I start dancing, I was writing a lot. And I sometimes I do write poems. So I think like you know it's hard to get to find a good DJ name. People call them this and this and this, but I don't know how long this career will last. But it's nice to have a mm-hmm. good name, like a pleasant name that you you will not feel mm-hmm. like shame or whatever when people are start calling you. So and then I was like, mm, poem no. Poem it works. Let let's say it. Some people were calling me DJ No Sleep, DJ Problema, DJ 24-7. I had a lot of options, but at the end I'm like, Poema is a good one. And then when I I do beats and then I was thinking like, oh, Poema, Poema beats, it's normal. And then I just record it, Poema beats. Record, record, yeah. Ah, вот у меня вопрос, если бы ты не занимался диджеингом, да? Вот в какую степь бы ты пошел, чем бы ты занимался, что тебя еще вдохновляло? Может быть, как ты сказал, вот писал поэмы там, вот. Вообще, если бы кизомбов в жизни не было. Да, да, да. Чем бы ты занимался? I will maybe write more, yes. And uh, people ask why you stop writing. Uh, I can think my life without uh, music, like kizomba music production, and without dancing. Why? I was doing uh, other kind of things. I was mm-hmm. hanging with friends, family. We still do that. Mm-hmm. And I was doing sports. I still did do that. And um, I had a lot of time to uh, think about life and then how I want my life to do and mm-hmm. things like this. But it's not a negative thing to add music and to add kizumba on it. Mm-hmm. It might be like, why well, you did that? Because you could have like, put more effort to writing or this and this but if you do what you like you do it even better mm-hmm. without uh, people pushing you or asking you you just feel I want to do it mm-hmm. there is no limit so for now I think like there is no limit when I'm mixing when I'm doing music so mm-hmm. I'm still there <clears throat> Окей, okay, у нас в Казахстане вот только-только развивается диджейнг. Э, у тебя будет пару пожеланий начинающим диджеям? А с чего надо начинать? Вообще пожелать удачи всем ребятам, которые будут смотреть? И пару слов от тебя. I think uh, they need to push, you see? And it's very hard to just start something. You can imagine and you can relate to dance. When we start dancing, you take your first step. It's not so nice because you know the only thing I can I can do is this one step, and it feels like 100 years you need to do like mm-hmm. many other steps. But it's just about to make effort. Just do it, push it. Me, I was when I started, I was going around with my computer. Mm-hmm. When I was talking with friend, I had my computer. I was mixing. When I had dinner with family, I had my computer. On the bus, local traffic, I had my computer, I missed mm. the stop. So it was 24-7 on it. Because wow. I wanted I wanted to learn. Yeah. And then um, they, I had my hard time that I lay down on the floor. I feel like, why can't, why I cannot understand this? Mm. Why can't those other people understand it, but not me? So I was fighting with those questions. And then mm-hmm. it's about time. Just give it time and then don't stop. Just push and push and listen mm. to people who are generous, who want your best and who support you. Mm-hmm. Because in the process, there will be people who will say, no, stop it, this is bullshit, you cannot do that. Those people who are here, they have stopped like for 20 years, 10 years ago. You are new, you cannot compete with them. But it's not yeah. about this. It's, it's just like a football team. We need new players. So those yeah. who are playing now, they will not last forever. So. Uh, It's good the new DJ coming, like good new teacher, so push it and then we are making the scene better. Mm-hmm. So that's it. Расскажи о своем первом опыте фестиваля. Oh I think it was Sweden Sweden Kisumba Festival in mm-hmm. my city in Gothenburg. Mm. I don't remember which year it was, maybe 2017. 
something. Uh, somewhere in my child, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, it was strange. Mm. It was strange because I was not a good dancer. And then uh, people were dancing with me, a few songs, and then they were saying thank you. <laughs> so I was I was going around and around and around. I, I was not like having long dances, very short, 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 short dance. And then, then I felt like I need to master this thing. Mm -hmm. And then it gave me some motivation to go home and train and train and train and get mm -hmm. better. Because you don't want to be in this situation that people are dancing two songs with you. They all festival. The, you will you will quick dance with everyone. Right? <laughs> you can imagine if you have three minutes with like uh, one person and it's like 500 people, I think you will manage to dance with a lot of people <laughs> every weekend. So, my first experience as a DJ, first my first experience as a DJ is catastrophic. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's, it's, it's catastrophic because when I start DJing, I just bought a controller. And then I download songs, Kizumba songs, and then I took my computer, I went to play for the, the, the social uh, part in, in mm -hmm. Sweden. Mm -hmm. I didn't know even how to, to sync. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Completely nothing. And I cannot even imagine myself how it sounded, how, how bad it was. You, you know how when songs are not mixed and the BPM is like 90 and 100, and you are just going in there. <laughs> it was hurting people. <laughs> and after the party, people hated me. <laughs> after after yeah. that night or after like months, I understand why they did because it's it's yeah. it hurts. <laughs> no, it hurts. Сейчас все окей. И назови самые топовые фестивали, от которых ты был. Три топовых. I will say I will say Viva uh, yeah. is the, one of the biggest that I played. I enjoyed amazing energy, amazing. People, it's not that often you play for so many people, and then you feel like those people knows what is going on here. They know mm -hmm. the music, they know the beat, they know the transition, they know everything. They are not just like beginners. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. your your brain like <coughs> you, your brain works like kind of very mm -hmm. sharp, very quick when you have a, a mm -hmm. scene or the the crew that knows mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. is going on. And then the second one is uh, New Year, uh, New Year in Bordeaux, uh, mm. New Year, how do you call it, New Year Festival. Uh -huh. uh, and then the third one, what should it be? I'm looking for a big festival, mm. the third one. If I just will take what comes to my mind, mm -hmm. I will say uh, uh, um, Kiss Riders in one of the events in uh, in Poland. In Poland? In Poland, oh. yeah. I was great. А вот ты сейчас назвал вот топовые фестивали, а в чём именно их успех? Good promotion. Good promotion. That makes everyone or that makes many people would like to come and also good organizer. And then also good uh, taking care of your artists. Uh, you have a team, you are not working alone, and then that makes it easy. And you also have good artists, you know, they do their the job, right? So they are not coming there mixing 100 BPM and 19 BPM, mm. like I did. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's important. Okay, what uh, you started DJ. У тебя был какой-то учитель, я не знаю, вот человек, на которого ты ориентировался, вот когда ты подходил уже к кизомба диджей. People have give me like advice, mm -hmm. like uh, think about this, think about the energy, think about the structure, think about this uh, song goes with this, and you know people have like give me the advice, but no one have like sit down with me and then like showing me like this, mm. like this. So I was fighting a lot with uh, YouTube. Mm. Uh, okay. Big fight. How do you think what is your advantage between the fact that you go to festivals and the usual work that is 5 x 2, I don't know, 8 hours of work? How do you think there is an advantage if there is any advantage? Yeah, I think it's most about passion. Mm. It's the most about you want something so much, 
and then you want to share it and then you want to share it so much so then that's why we are doing those things because it's it's disturbing if you have a normal job beside it's disturbing because it's hard going away the weekends and coming back go back to your own normal work you need a lot of motivation a lot of passion to combine this and then uh, i'm doing it and then the the source or the energy and motivation doesn't come from like being a artist being like famous or meeting many people that are saying you are good you are great it's not about that it's mostly about like i have something to share and then i want to share it as many people with as many people as i can and then uh, it just makes it easy for me to say yes can you come to this festival to play yes i'm coming i know monday i will be back to work but yes i'm coming получается ты даже не думал вот о обычной стандартной работе when i do mixing and then when i produce music and when I dance, you remember when I was studying, I was trying to find something that makes me not think about studying. And then Kisumba uh, mixing, DJing still do that. So when I'm mixing, when I'm dancing Kisumba, when I'm like uh, producing music, I don't think about my work. Mm. So that, 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 that mm. is very important as well for me to, to relax, to try to think about something else. And from here, I don't need to to make so many, many efforts. I just want, can just open my software uh -huh. and then uh -huh. I forget my work. Ну тогда последний кавер за вопрос. Если бы, ну, такой известный диджей, как ты, зарабатывает столько же, сколько обычный работник у тебя в стране? Что в репертуаре? Деньги, деньги. No. No. Even, even if I ask as many as, you know, the big name ask, because I'm not there, and then um, I don't think I will manage to um, to quit my job. I don't think so. And this is not my ambition to quit my normal job because I like it so much. And then I want to do that uh, this kind of job I'm doing. It's also a career. Uh, doing DJ beside it's something about like passion, something about to try to to not bring your job at home, not bring your job to your family. And it helps, but I um, I don't think DJ money can like give me as much money as I'm getting from my normal work. But there are many people who lives everywhere, and maybe they don't know how they don't have like a, a kind of one place that they are living. So for them, it's easier to kind of move, work here, work there. But I don't have this kind of job. I have a job that I have to be at the office mm -hmm. and in Sweden. Спасибо тебе за такое уютное домашнее общение. Было очень круто. Будем ждать тебя в Казахстане. Надеюсь, скоро наши наш танцпол почувствует, не знаю, там послушают тебя. Так что спасибо тебе большое. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I would love to come. Thank you. I hope to see you very soon, guys. So uh, yeah, we have a lot of things to discover together. Yeah. Всем пока. Всем пока. Great. Thank you. Thank you.